introduction of players. We have uh, Rocky. They're going to be playing their away uniforms as makes him the visiting team on the scoreboard. So here's their following starters. And the first one they trot out there is number three. That's Alana Morin. She's a five-foot sophomore out of Richland, Washington. Also starting. She'll be wearing number 23. That's going to be Madison Hill. She's a guard. She's five foot six. She's out of Oakland, California. And the third starter you run out there is going to be number 14. That's going to be Gracie Leckwold. Gracie's 5'5". Five five. She's a junior. She's out of Scobie, Montana. Storied career out there for Scobie. Quite a ball player for him. Another starter will be wearing number 33. That's Morgan Baird. She's a forward. She's a 5'11 junior. And she's out of Coquille, Oregon. And the last starter is going to start out there is going to be Brianna Lins. She's going to be wearing number 42. She's six foot one, and she's from Billings Senior. Quite a ball player for Senior. Uh, at 40, uh, even though she's six one, when she was playing for him, she did a lot of point guard for Senior. She can handle the ball. And now let's talk about MSU Northern. Coach Chris Moat. He's been there for quite a while. I, I forgot to mention that Rocky's coach is Wes Keller. Everybody knows Wes Keller. That famous name here was Steve Keller. Of course, was a coach here in Great Falls for the longest time. And here's their starters. Number three is going to be Jalen Callender. She's a 5'9", Richard Sr. out of Caldwell, out of Idaho. Also starting is going to be Rachel Van Blaircom. She's wearing number 11. She's a guard. She's 5'9". She's out of Clancy, Montana. She played for Boulder. That's Jefferson County High School. The next senior player is going to be Taya Trotter. She's a guard. She's a sophomore. She's out of Harlem, Montana. And they're going to start number 21. That's going to be Riley Kerr. Riley's a forward. She's 5'10". She's out of Columbia Falls, Montana. And the fast last starter, she's going to be wearing number 44, Savannah Toms. She's a forward. She's a six-footer. And she's out of Glendive, Montana. So a large Montana contingency out here for Northern. Everybody's meeting in the huddle. Coming out here on the floor. We're going to have a jump ball. We have referees on the floor. We've got Tom Dwyer out there, Sean Schroeder. And Adam Metcalf. Three Frontier officials. So far, the fishing this tournament's been pretty good. Coach Rykosen might disagree. But Tom's going to throw the ball in there. Going up there for the tap is going to be Savannah Toms. Going up against Linz. And Linz gets it. Coming in there's going to be Rocky Mountain. They're going to bring the ball in the front court. That's going to be Morin. Morin working on the left-hand side. Comes over to the top of the key. Back to Morin. Trying to get the ball inside if they can get it in there. Good defense being played by the lights. Not let them in there. Now they're going to cast a three. That was put up over there by Moore. No good. Rebound comes off. Northern's got it. Bring it in the front court. That's going to be Trotter. She's on the dribble. Wants to work over here ahead of the key. Now they get the ball. Drop it down in the corner. That's where we'll find Callender. Callender on the dribble. Good defense being played on her. She's still on the dribble on the right-hand wing. Drops it inside. Try to get the ball in there to Toms. Toms. Little spin move. Nothing doing. She has to go back over the top. They're running out of time. Six seconds on the top clock. They take the ball in. Just a prayer put up there. No good by Trottier. And coming out is going to be Grace Electbold. And she's in the front. Dribbles way down. Kicks back out on the hands of Kai Oliver. And they're going to cast the shot up over there. And it's going to be no good. Wait a minute. That was Grace Electbold. That can't be Kai Oliver. She's not even on the floor. My bad. Shot misses, 8.56 to play. The ladies play four tens. The men play two 20-minute halves. The ladies play four 10-minute quarters. And they're, they clear off the team fouls. At the end of the quarter, you get five team fouls. You shoot two free throws. End of the quarter, they wipe them out and start all over again. Shot down that end is no good. Now here comes Rocky Mountain on the offense. A little spin move inside. That shot's up. That shot's good. First basket of the ball game goes to Brianna Lenz. And now on the front court, here comes Trottier. And she gets the ball on the left-hand side. Down in the corner down there, that's where we'll find Callender. Callender, head of the key, they're going to have shot put up there. Three-pointer on the way. That's Kerr, the shot it. She misses. Rebound comes off. Kai Oliver, who is out there now, she's got it. She's got her hair lame. <laughs> All the way over her number in the back. If she's not coming at me, I can't tell who she is. Nice pass, get it down on the baseline. And it's going to be Morgan Baird. She gets a nice shot. And now they're up four to nothing. Skylights with the ball, front court. That's going to be Trottier, head of the key, working on the right-hand side. That's going to be in the hands of Van Blaricum. She's going to take the ball all the way inside. She's fouled in the act of shooting. No, they're just going to say it's out of bounds. It will stay with Northern. And they're in a box around the key, taking the ball out on the baseline down there. 
believe that's Callender going to throw it in. And she's looking for something inside. There's nothing there, but she does get it to Toms. Ten-foot shot off the baseline. It's no good. Rebound comes off. Linz has got it. She gets the ball in the hands of Bourne and runs in the front court. She's at the head of the key. Has to pick up her dribble there? No. Yes, she does. She goes on the right-hand side here. That's going to be Kai Oliver. Back over to Morin. She's got a layup. Misses it. No good. Rebound comes off. Northern's got the rebound. Good job by Toms. Clearing the board. Gets the ball to Trotter. She's in the front court. She's at the head of the free throw line. Picks up her dribble there. Takes it outside. And the ball gets swatted away. Playing the good defense is Morin. And it's going to be Northern ball right at the Right at the mid-stripe. Throwing it in. This is going to be Callender. Callender on the curve. Kerr over in the corner here. That's going to be Van Blaricum. Van Blaricum. A couple dribbles. She's at the free throw line. Splits the difference. No, she doesn't. Coming out of there with it. On the steal is going to be Rocky. In the front court she comes. That's going to be Baird. Baird drops the ball off the head of the key. You're going to have a shot up put up there. It's a three-pointer on the way. That was put up by Kai Oliver. It's no good. Rebound comes off. With the rebound is going to be Trotter. She's in the front court. Throws the ball inside to Toms, and we're going to have a foul. Toms ran right over that defender. That couldn't have felt good. Toms is going to go to the free throw line. They're going to say she was shooting in the first foul of the ball game. Goes to Kai Oliver. Savannah, she's a six-foot redshirt junior. She's out of Glendonite, Montana. Got her first free throw up and in. She's got one more coming. Takes her time with it. That's all right. You got 10 seconds to shoot the ball. That one's no good. Coming out of the weather, it's going to be Rocky. And they're going to bring the ball into the front court. That's Morin. Moran, she's going to the left head of the key. Drops it off there. In the hands of Baird. Baird gets the ball over in the hands of... Leckbold, Leckbold turns, looks, going to baseline. Moran, she's got a two-pointer up, and that's good. Moran. Moran with her first basket of the ball game. Quickly in the front court. Comes Northern. Got the ball over to Trottier. She's on the dribble. She's got a free lane of the key. She's got a shot up there. It's off the backboard. Up and in. And Trottier's got a basket. It's six to three now. Bears with the lead. Moran, she's in the front court. And they're Playing a little man-to-man -man defense down here. As they get the ball off the head of the key, that's going to be Leckbold. Leckbold takes one dribble, drops in the middle of the paint to Baird. Baird spins, kicks it out in the corner. Got a shot out by Moran. It's off the back of the rim, no good. Long rebound comes off. Good job by the Bears to keep it alive. Now in the far corner, they're going to have another loft over there. That's a three-pointer up and in. And that one's going to be Kai Oliver. She gets her first basket of the ball game. And now it's 9-3 to three Bears. Here comes Trotter into the front court. She's on the dribble, right-hand side. She gets all the way in the lane. She's got a lap up and in. Nobody got in front of her. That basket is good. And at the 531 mark, with the Bears up 9-5, to five, there's a timeout on the floor. And we'll, we'll take that timeout with them. Everybody's head of the bench. It's going to be gone for a minute. KQDI, 1450 AM. Pages got left. 30. Break time. Good looking out. I got huh. you. I got you. Buy one, get one for a dollar is back. So double up or mix and match. Ba da ba ba ba.
there is going to be Hegem. Hegem gets the ball down, down in the low post. That's Baird. She's got a little shot up there. Left hand stroke. It's no good. Rebound comes off. Bears have got it. Coming out of there with it. Or excuse me, Kier has got it for the lights. Skylights in the front court now. And on the dribble, that's Trottier. Gets the ball ahead of the key. That's going to be Toms. Toms hands it off to Trottier. This time they get in front of her and she travels with it. Last time she had a free route all the way to the line, basket. Not this time. And Toms is going to go take a break. Coming on in her stead is going to be Cheyenne Crass. She's a 6'2 junior. Played high school basketball for Turner, Montana. The Turner Tornadoes. And here comes Moran in the front court. They're up 9-5. to five. You're working over here on the right-hand side. That's going to be Kai Oliver. They're going to let her shoot a three. That's generally a bad idea. This time she misses. Crash with a rebound. Gets the ball to Trottier. She brings in the front court. Working over there at the head of the key now. Still in the dribble. Defense is out on her. She falls down but maintains her dribble. Gets it up. Gets the ball over. Into the hands of Van Blarenkum. And she kicks the ball out to the head of the key. They got, a, got Riley Kerr. She's got a three-pointer and it is good. Nice shot by Riley. And now it's 9-8 Bears. And they're in the front court. <coughs> Going to work the ball. <coughs> Excuse me to Hagem. Hagem drops it off to Kai Oliver. Oliver, she'll cast the three off from there. It's good. <laughs> and I had the number wrong. That was Gracie Leckbold that shot that. Got a 14 and a 13. You think I'd be able to tell the difference? Nice big numbers, too. Must be losing my eyesight. Head of the key. That's going to be crash. Shakes the ball inside. Underneath the basket, she's fouled in the act of shooting. And she got the ball over to Riley Kerr, and Kerr's going to go to the free throw line. Kerr has not been to the free throw line as we have a substitute coming on. And that's going to be Latia Lawrence comes on. She's a guard. She's a 5'9 redshirt junior, and she's out of Harlem, Montana. Kerr's free throw is up, and it's good. She'll get one more. Riley's got four points in the ball game already. She's a big scorer for the Skylights. And that second one's no good. Coming out of the rebound is going to be Leckbold. She's in the front court. Working her way in down. Trotter is going to pick her up there and check that shot. She tried to do a little fadeaway. And now we have a whistle and a stop a play for something. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, you got to have two shoes. And you got to, they must have some blood on the knee over there. They're taping it up. I tell you who it is, but it's the old ponytail deal again, hanging over the back of the numbers. And that's going to be Trottier over there getting taped up. They're all done. Still going to be Skylight Ball. Taking on the sideline over there is going to be Jalen Callender. Callender to Trottier, and she's in the front court. She got it right there by Leckbold. Wants to work it over here, the left hand side. That's Kerr. Kerr tries to dribble it out of the key. Hagen playing the good defense. Not good enough. She backs off, nails a three. Madeline Hagen was right in her face. Didn't slow her down. <clears throat> and now it's 12 to 11. Bears are only up by one. Morin, she's going to put up a three of her own. That's off the side of the rim, no good. Rebound comes off. Crass has got it. Gets the ball over to Trottier, and they're in the front court on the offense again. She wants to work on that right-hand side. She turns, looks, nothing there. Callender underneath the basket. That shot's up and in. Nobody was guarding Cheyenne Crass. She's got her first basket of the ball game. And now the Skylights take the lead. Bears, front court, Hegem, Hegem. Uh, they're going to whistle. Somebody was reaching on Madeline. It's going to be a foul against the Lights. Skylights, it's going to be... Uh, bear ball probably over in the sideline by the bench. Maybe. I'm not sure where they'll take that out. Substitutes coming back on the floor. Coming on is going to be Rana Lenz coming back on. She's going to have Taylor Black come out with her. Taylor, she's a 5'9 freshman out of Bozeman High School. And now right-hand side. That's Kai Oliver. She's dribbling ahead of the key. That's where we'll find Baird. Dry, tries to throw it inside to Rana Lenz. There's a lot of smoke behind that ball. Lenz couldn't handle it. Goes out of bounds. It goes back over to the skylights. So the one-point lead, 2.54 to play here in the first quarter. They're in the front court. On the dribble, that's going to be Lawrence. Lawrence picks up her dribble, comes over here to the left-hand side. That's going to be Kerr. Kerr. Uh, we got hands on. Linz is going to pick up a foul. You can't put your hands on them when the ref's standing right there, or any other time for that matter. You do it when the ref's standing there. You're just buying a foul. They got one. We have one foul so far on the skylights, three on the Bears. 
So everyone's still with one to give before anybody's shooting any free throws. Unless, of course, there's foul while they're shooting. Meanwhile, Kras has got a shot up. It's no good from the wing. Kevin Ather with it is going to be Oliver for the Bears, and she's in the front court. And she's going to work her way over here on the right-hand side of the floor. Lawrence playing defense on her. She tries to go around her. Goes right-hand side. She's in the paint. A little spin move. Lawrence is right on her. And a good defense by Lawrence. She gets a rebound. Takes the ball all the way down the floor. That's going to be Kerr. Kerr takes a little underhand shot. It's no good, but she's fouled in active shooting. And Riley bought her a trip to the free throw line. I don't think you want to foul on a shot like that. It was a low percentage shot. It wasn't going to drain more than likely. Now she's going to go to the free throw line, and her shots are more than likely going to drain. And let's see who we have coming on the floor now. Substitutes coming on. Uh, number 15. First free throws up and good. 15 for the Bears is Madison Blaney. She's a sophomore out of Cheyenne, Wyoming. Second free throws on the way. It's good as well. And now it's the Bears. Skylights by three. They were way down early. They worked their way right back in the head of this ball game. And with the ball, is going to be over there. It's going to be Taylor Black. She gets the ball on this side to Blaney. Blaney. Now they kick it outside. They got a three pointer up. That's Leckbold again. Gracie Leckbold. She's got a three pointer. Knots this game up at 15s. You got to find Gracie. She's a shooter. And now in the front court, here comes Trottier. Being guarded there closely by Leckbold. And he gets the ball inside. They get the ball down in the low post. And they get the ball down there to Cheyenne Crass. And she's got another, another basket. And now it's the skylights by two. In the front court, here comes the Bears. Head of the key, Bears, this side. side. They get the ball in the hands of Kai Oliver. Head of the key now, Leckbold. They're on her. Still playing a zone defense down here in this end of the floor. Nobody gets out on this end, though. We got a shot, three-pointer up, no good. That was Taylor Black that took it, but the Bears kept it alive to Leckbold. She's got a three-pointer in the way. That one's no good. Another rebound by Baird. She turns around, spins, she'll put up a two-pointer. Says, I'm getting rebounds and throwing up my three-pointers and not making it, so I'm just going to shoot one myself. She knocks things at 17 as we roll under a minute to play here in the first quarter. And it's going to be Trottier. They're going to call Kratz. She just ran right through a pick by Gracie Leckbold. Some calls are easier than others. And coming on the floor, we've got a new substitute. It's going to be Angie Cavanaugh. She's a 5'8 freshman out of Maple Valley, Washington. And with less than a minute to play, 56 seconds to be exact, here comes Rocky in the front court with a chance to tie. Working there on the far side of the floor. That's going to be Black. Black goes to the top. They get a shot inside to Baird. She's going to get blocked. Good defense being played by Kras. Left-hand side, there's Kerr. She's on the dribble, hands it off to Trottier. 37 seconds, she's taking the paint. Shots up in there, it's off the backboard, and good. Taya Trottier. Nice shot, and now with 27 seconds left, here's Rocky down two. Working over here on the right-hand side. That's where he gets the ball, Oliver. Oliver takes it ahead of the key, looks inside. They got somebody inside there, they got a shot up. It's no good. Putting that shot up onto the baseline was going to be Black, and coming out of there with a rebound is going to be Trottier. She's got 11 seconds now. They're in the front court. Over here on the left-hand side to Lawrence to Trottier. Now she's got six seconds to do something. Deep in the corner. They're going to try to get a shot there. And they're going to go baseline underneath the basket. Up and in. Great pass at the buzzer. And they get a basket right at the buzzer. I think that was going to be Kerr that got it. And it is. So another basket for Kerr. Metal for cash? Come visit us at Central Montana's leader in recycling, steel, etc. in Great Falls. Our center processes steel, stainless steel, aluminum, copper, brass, and lead. And we pay cash for scrap based on weight. We also accept batteries, electric motors, paper, cardboard, and more. And our roll-off containers are available for any scrap projects you have. We even buy and recycle junk cars. Trade your scrap for cash. Visit us at steeletc.com or call us at 761-4848.
Well, it's been close the whole way. We got the skylights from up in Haver, the Northern, MSU Northern. They got a four point lead over the Rocky Mountain College Bears come up here out of Billings, Montana. The Rocky Mountain boys team just lost in the last game to the UP Argos from here in Great Falls. Congratulations to the Argos as they make the semifinals. And uh, another season comes to the end of the 24th season for Coach Dre Cosen. He's been there a long time, been a great coach for Rocky. He's got uh, our old coach, Steve Keller, sitting beside him. But uh, I'm not sure there's, that means anything. Other than they got two great coaches. And here comes the skylights. Shots up, it's no good. Putting that up is going to be Mackenzie Long. Rebound comes off, they're rolling on the ground with it, or the Bears. And they're going to give the ball right back over to the skylights. Mackenzie Long's out there. She's a 5'7 junior out of American Falls, Lickfold Idaho. And now Leckfold comes back in, going to the bench for Rocky. He's going to be tailing Black. And they're going to throw it over the top in the hands of Savannah Toms. Toms hands the ball off to Long. Long over to Toms. Toms going to dribble in the paint and gives the ball back over to Long. She's on the dribble. They're going ahead of the key now. And that's going to be Lawrence. No, nope, that's not Lawrence. Out there is going to be Dulce Skunk Cap. And they get the ball inside to Toms. A little spin move in the side. Or it's, it's a rim. It's no good. Skunk Cap gets the rebound down in the corner. They make a nice play down there. Skunk Cap doing a really nice job out there. Keeping that ball alive for the Bears. Or for the uh, lights. And now substitutes coming on. That's going to be Madeline Hagem coming back on. She's a six-footer out of Winifred. Another one of the mini Hegems that have played ball. For Rocky Mountain College. And now Sydney Hansen comes in for the Skylights. And going to the bench is going to be Kerr. Riley's going to take a break. And they're looking to get inside. Who's there? They get into Long. Long gets it back out here. Top of the key. That's going to be Lawrence. Lawrence going to get a pick. Set for it by Toms. There's the give. There's the go. Toms got a shot up. No good. It's going to be short. Coming out of the weather. It's going to be Baird for the... Rocky Mountain. She's got the ball now. Head of the key. She's going to stand and look. Finally gets the ball in the hands of Kai Oliver. Oliver into Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh gives a take all the way to the hole. Nobody got in front of her. Kavanaugh's got a layup. She made that look pretty easy. That's that Baird lead in half. Now it's 21 19. Front court. That's going to be Lawrence. Lawrence working on the right hand side. That's where she's got to find Skunk Cap. Good dribble out of that corner. Got the free throw line extended. Now they go back down in the corner. Back to Skunk Cap. On a give and go, kicks the ball out to Long. She looks at that three-pointer, doesn't take it. Said she's got skunk cap at the corner. Gets the ball back over to her. Looking to go somewhere. How about Lawrence? Lawrence going to take it inside. She got a shot off the rim. It's no good. Coming out of there with a rebound is going to be Kai Oliver. And the Bears want to run. They're down two as they bring it to the front court. Working on the far side, Leckbold. She's got one of those three-pointers up. This one's no good. Rebound Baird for the Bears. Now kick back out, and I got another three-pointer up. This one's no good. Shooting that one on that far side over there. I think that was Madison Hill who's out there that shot that. No, that had to been Kai Oliver that shot it. And here comes Skylights. Long, she's got the ball at the head of the key. Uses up her dribble. Hits the ball in the hands of Hanson. Hanson looking to do something with it. She puts up a shot. It's no good. Rebound comes out of there. Oliver's got it for the Bears. She's in the front court. Lawrence has got it there. She goes right by her. Layups up, count that basket. Foul on Lawrence. Nice take of the hole by Kai Oliver. Kai's got five points in the ball game already. As Baird goes to the bench and Moran comes, Moran comes back onto the floor for the Bears. And Kai Oliver's at the free throw line. 5'7 junior out of Cheyenne. She knows how to make free throws. That one's good. And now they get the ball into Lawrence. Bears are up one, 22-21. Lawrence being guarded very close by Kavanaugh. She gets in the front court, still on the dribble. Kavanaugh still right in her face. Now she has to pick up the dribble, come to the head of the key. That's Hanson. Hanson over the far side. That's Long. Long now goes down the corner. Shots up. It's a beautiful shot. That's going to be Lawrence. She's got a three-pointer. She disappeared into the corner. Nobody found her. She found the basket. And now the skylights are up by one. And Moran, she's got the ball. She's going to go on the left-hand side. Leckbold deeper in the corner. You're going to have shot put up over there. That's Kavanaugh. It's no good. Rebound comes off. Long has got it for the skylights. And over here, and we're going to have a foul. 
And the ref was right because it was all about two feet from my face. And now we'll have Skunk Cap. Taking the ball out, she'll get it into Lawrence. Skunk Cap, she's a senior. She's out of Browning. And I'll get the ball to Lawrence. Lawrence in the hands of Hanson. Hanson looking to get the ball inside to Toms. She does, but Toms travels with it. So it goes back to the Bears. The Bears down one. 6.45 to play. We're in the second quarter. Ladies quarterfinals. Frontier Conference play. Loser goes home. And in the front court comes Marin. A little speed move to get inside. Didn't work. Good defense being played by Long. So she steps back out. Puts up one from the free throw lane. It's no good. McKenzie's got the ball. Long's in the front court. On the dribble here on the left-hand side. Switches. A little cross dribble. She's getting rid of herself inside. Gets rid of the ball finally. That goes over in the hands of Hanson. And we have a whistle. And it's going to be a foul against the Bears. And that's only going to be their first foul. One on the Bear as well. So we're nowhere close to shooting free throws. As coming back on the floor is going to be Taya Trotter. As Long goes to the bench. And they throw the ball all the way to the top to Toms. Toms takes one dribble, hands the ball off. That's going to be Hanson. Hanson looking inside to Lawrence. Lawrence, uh, her pass inside is stolen. Good defense being played by Kai Oliver. And she's going to bring the ball in the front court on the dribble. Hands the ball off as she goes by her. It's going to be Leckbold. They're not letting Leckbold shoot threes anymore. Instead, they get the ball over here to Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh gets the ball to Leckbold. She takes it inside. Defense, nice swat that time. Block shot by the Bears coming out of there with it. It's going to be Skunk Cap. And she's going to bring the ball in the front court. She's the head of the key. Defense picks her up there. She turns around, hands the ball off to Trotter. Trotter on the dribble. Working over here on the left hand side. That's where we'll find Skunk Cap. Skunk Cap to Toms at the free throw line. Turns, looks, working against Heckham. Trying to work her way inside. Left hand shot. Up and in. Nice job. Nice take the hole by Savannah Toms. And now it's a three point lead. For the Skylights. Bringing to the front court. It's going to be Moran. Moran gets the paint. She's going to put up a little floater. It's good. Nice take to the hole. Nobody picked her up. She got an easy basket. Now Lawrence up one. She brings to the front court. She's working over here on the left-hand side. Picks up a dribble. Head of the key. That's going to be Trottier. Looking for something. Goes right-hand side. Guarded, guarded by Moran. Now she throws the ball inside. Tom's little spin move. Her shot's no good. Rebound comes off. Hegum's got it. Fouled. Foul's going to go against... Hanson, Sydney. She's a 5'10 senior. She's out of big timber. And with that, we're going to have a timeout on the floor. So we'll go ahead and take a timeout with them. 4.59 to play here in the second quarter. Skylights 25. Bear 20. Are you ready to unleash your awesome? Then you need 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS. You'll have the powerful internet you need to stream, game, learn, and work today, and be prepared to take on anything new you can dream up tomorrow. Imagine internet you'll never outgrow. Get 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS and embrace infinite possibility. in the second quarter. Skylights have the lead, Bears have the ball. And the Skylights are down here on the defensive end of the floor. And it looks to me like they're setting up in a man-to-man -man defense coming to the front court, it's gonna be Moran. That's gonna be Ileana. And she leaves the ball ahead of the key. Takes the ball, beautiful lob pass inside, that's hard to do. She got inside to Baird, and Morgan's gonna to go to the free throw line. Morgan Baird will go to the Jerry Trent. 
in Baird. She's got four points in the ball game as Toms comes on. And Kraft goes to the bench for Coach Moat. Free throws on the way. It's good. And now we're not at the 25. And the lefty's got her second stroke on the way. That's good, too. Doesn't even ripple the net as it goes through there. And now with a down one point, here comes Lawrence. She's on the dribble to Trottier. Trottier's in the front court. Picked up there by Leckbold. Still in the dribble. The free tries to go right. Leckbold playing the good defense. Trying to set up that skylight offense. Now she'll go left-hand side. Out there on the floor is going to be Van Vlerkum. Skip pass all the way to the far side over there. Trottier gets the ball down in the baseline. Up and under shot. Beautiful move. That's going to be Riley Kerr. What a great under shot she did right there. Nice move to get on the baseline. Goes up and under that basket. Gets the defense off her. She's got two points. And now the front court's going to be Moran. She's got the dribble at the head of the key. Works over here this side to Oliver. Oliver drops it into Baird. Baird kicks about to Hagem. Back out to Oliver. She's got a three-pointer on the way. Off the rim, no good. Long rebound comes off. Saved by Leckwold. Leckwold back out to head of the key to Oliver. She shows the Moran on the far side there. We've got a new shot clock, 15 seconds on it. Nice save right there. Gets to Hegem. Hegem throws the ball to Oliver. Oliver's going in there. She's driving in there. We've got a whistle on the foul. It's going to go against... It's going to go against Trottier. She comes up rubbing her derriere. She landed hard on it. It's going to send... Oliver to the free throw line as Long comes back on the floor for the Skylights. And one free throw coming, or two I should say, and the first one doesn't touch anything. Kai looks around, she's a little embarrassed. She's a better shooter than that. Maybe they'll let her back out to 19-9. She hasn't missed many from there. Of course, that's not the college three-pointer anymore. That's high school. Second one's up and good. They do have the three lines out here on the floor. It's kind of confusing to some folks. First one's high school. Second one is the old college one. The last one is the new college line. I'm not sure what the exact distance is, but I know it confuses those high school kids when they're playing on this floor. Here they get the ball inside. That's the Trottier. Turns around, gets the ball to Long. Long takes it inside. There's Trot or Kerr on the baseline. Up and in. Riley Kerr. You got to know where she is all the time. Two-point lead by the Skylights. 3.20 to play second quarter. Moran's in the front court. Trottier's got it right there, working over there on the left-hand side. Comes back across to Oliver, to Moran. Bear's going to set a pick, try to free her up. She goes the other way, deep in the corner, Leckbold. Leckbold comes out of there. She's on the dribble. Good defense being played out there by the Skylights, but not good enough because Oliver snuck out. She got a three-pointer up and in. And now it's a 30-29 lead by the Bears. They work so hard to keep them out of the paint. And you got those outside shooters. Not much you can do against them. Here they come. This Skylights with the ball. Far side. That's Kerr. She's on the dribble, getting inside, drops it inside. She kicks it back out. Now Kerr's got a three pointer on the way. It's up and it's good. Riley Kerr for three points. And now it's a Skylight two point lead. Moran comes in the front court. Working over here on this side. Long's going to pick her up there. She's back to the head of the key. And it looks like a little zone defense down there. Bear gets the ball in low post. Toms bumps her on the shot. Bear's going to go. She's going to get to go to the free throw line and make a three-point play the old-fashioned way. And for Toms, that's just her first foul. Bear, she's going back to that free throw line. And coming back on for Rocky is going to be Angie Cavanaugh. And at the free throw line again is Morgan Baird. Free throws on the way. That one rattles in good as well. She's got eight points in the ball game already. Now substitution as I see Tom's going to the bench. No, Tom's is coming on the floor. And they're going to be some full court pressure by the Bears. Rocky gets there. Excuse me. They get it in. And Skylight's going to bring it to the front court on the dribble. That's going to be Van, Van Blair come. She gets it long, long. Just loses it out of bounds. She's dribbling away, and the ball kept going, and she stopped. So, up one with 2.02 to play. It's going to be Bears' ball. Leckbold gets the ball back over to Moran. She's going to bring in the front court. She's over here on the right-hand side. Going to try to set a pick on Trotty here to free her up. 
puts up a wild shot. It's no good. Rebound comes off. And they're pointing at Rocky Mountain College. Did a foul. I didn't see who did it. It was off ball. It's going to be skylight ball. And it's going to be Baird. That's going to be her first. And still that full court pressure by the Bears. And taking the ball into the baseline and getting it in. That's in the hands of Skylights. Trying to lose the ball in the backcourt, but finally get it. I knew that press was going to get him sooner or later. Kai Oliver has got it. She got a layup. It's up and good. And here in the front court, that's going to be Toms. Toms now. They're down three. She tries to pick up her dribble there. That's a bad idea. Defense is on her. They're going to call a jumper. They're going to call a, a foul. They're going to call a foul. Somebody was reaching on there. And that is the second foul. It's going to be on Baird. She just picked up two back-to-back. And now with a minute 30, it's going to be skylight ball. They're down three. Get the ball right into Trottier. She's on the dribble. Gets the ball into Toms. Toms turns, looks, has a key to Kerr. Riley's going to take it all the way in the paint. She's got a shot up, and it's good. Beautiful shot. Kind of going away from the basket. Not an easy one to make, but she got it. 114 to play. Front court. Here comes Leckwold. Leckwold to Moran. Moran turns, looks. He got his own defense playing against her. She's now at the head of the key. Trying to get the ball to Baird. She's in the paint. They got it in there. Toms is on her. Bumps her again. Foul on Toms. Free throw line Baird. Baird will go back and shoot two. Skylights have over five fouls. So everything is a foul against them. Is a shooting foul. And substitutes coming on the floor. I see Jalen Callender coming back on for the Skylights. And going to the bench is going to be Rachel Van Blericum. And right back that free throw line is going to be Morgan Baird. And this time she misses. Been, now we got people waiting at the bench to come on. I'm not sure why they're not bringing them on. A minute left to go in the ball game. Second free throws up. It's good. And now they'll bring them on. I see a couple coming on for the Bears. Coming on is going to be Madison Blaney and Taylor Black. Full court pressure still. Coming on for the Skylights is Karina Cabrera. She's a junior out of Laguna Beach, California. Laguna Beach to have her. A little bit of a climate difference there. Trottier, she's at the head of the key. Nobody's on her. She's taking her right in the paint. She's got a lap in there. Count that basket. She's going to go to the free throw line. She turned around and looked. She hesitated. She goes, holy smokes. There's not a soul between me and that basket. She took off. They couldn't close the gap quick enough. She's got a lap. We're all not at the 36. And Taya Trotter is going to go back to that free throw line. They're going to get Baird back out there. Going to the bench is going to be Blaney. And with one free throw coming in is going to be Taya Trotter. And that's good. And now the Skylights are up one with 49 seconds to go. Tight ball game. Been back and forth the whole way. And into the front court comes Moran. She's working over there on the left-hand side of the floor. Defense picks her up there. That zone defense. Kick it down in the corner. Nobody's out here guarding in the corner. Shots up there. It's no good. Put up there by Pavanaugh. Coming out of the way. It's going to be Trottier. And she's in the front court. And she's dribbling the ball over the head of the key. She's going to stop there. Yeah, 27 seconds to do something over there. Kavanaugh down the corner to Callender. Back out to Trottier. Her shot's up. Her shot's good. She took in the paint. Nobody's getting in front of her. Somebody's got to do that. They're not. It's a three-point lead now by the Skylights. And in the front court comes the Bears. They're one possession down. It needs to be a three if they want to catch them. Or the far, they're going to put it up. It's going to be Gracie Leckbold. Her shot's no good. Rebound comes off. Trottier's got it. She's got time to throw it down the floor. There's Callender. She's got a shot up at the buzzer. And it's no good. They got down there and got a good look, though. And they look up there in that belt by the back scoreboard. We are at the half. The Skylights have 39. The Bears have 36. Let's go ahead and take a break for a couple minutes. I'll get some scoring done here. We'll come back. Ready to unleash your awesome? Then you need 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS. You'll have the powerful internet you need to stream, game, learn, and work today, and be prepared to take on anything new you can dream up tomorrow. Imagine internet you'll never outgrow. Get 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS and embrace infinite possibility.
At the University of Providence, we believe college is more than a collection of buildings, or a lecture, or a test, or even a degree. College is about connecting to something greater than yourself. The University of Providence is a private Roman Catholic liberal arts university founded in 1932 by the Sisters of Providence. And we continue to honor their vision by providing students with an education that goes beyond the classroom. An education grounded in our mission of connecting people. Connecting people with their communities, with one another, with the environment, with opportunities, with their spiritual journey, and most importantly, connecting people with their potential. The University of Providence. For more than 85 years, DA Davidson has strived to build relationships and trust from our first office in Montana to each of our 70 locations spread out coast to coast. We're on the ground and in your neighborhood combining the values of a local partner with the capabilities of a national institution. We achieve strong outcomes based on mutual success, planning for future generations and building legacies that endure together. Passion, it's what drives us. When you get your hands on something that you're passionate about, there's nothing else like it. That's the value of hands-on learning. So whether your passion is painting or plumbing, engines or engineering, if you're ready to turn your passion into a profession, find us at MSU Northern. Montana has one of the highest suicide rates in the United States. Suicide impacts people of all ages, genders, and ethnicities. On average, 300 Montanans die each year by suicide. Our best chance of stopping suicide is to stop the stigma. It's time to talk openly and honestly about mental health issues. Together, let's take the pledge to be allies against suicide. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Montana. We're proud to say it's where we live and where we work. We're so much more than pretty scenery. We are all hardworking, resilient, and resourceful. The vibe is different here. Stockman Bank, Montana's brand of banking. The other guys, they think they know what special means. At Godfather's Pizza, we do special, and we do it better. We add the T. There's a Godfather's Specialty Pizza with your name on it. Classic combo, all-meat combo, hot stuff, taco, yeah, even veggie, and more. All of them piled high with the best toppings and 100% real cheese. Treat yourself special. Order specialty pizzas from Godfather's Pizza. My name is Matt Allen. I'm the Director of Admissions at the University of Montana Western. Montana Western is the only U.S. public institution uh, in the country that operates on a block scheduling model called Experience One. Instead of your semester looking like this in a traditional system, the block schedule at Montana Western looks like this. 
This innovative approach allows students to really focus on that one homework area, have one final, uh, communicate with one professor. Uh, more importantly, there's one professor communicating with that class. The big difference between Montana Western and other institutions is that our students typically have two to three years of experience in their field of study. And it's experience that employers and grad schools are looking for. And like I said, it's experience that a lot of college students don't typically have at that point in time in their academic career. Student success is our top priority, so our faculty and staff are here to help students through their entire student experience. If you are on the fence about ordering McDonald's, consider this a sign. And that sign is to get a satisfying breakfast sandwich for just $2 when you order ahead on the app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Still? Yeah. How many pages got left? 30. Break time. Good looking out. I got oh. you. I got you. Buy one, get one for a dollar is back. So double up or mix and match. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The Heritage Inn is just off I-15 in Great Falls and minutes from the C.M. Russell Museum, the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center, Giant Springs State Park, and many other attractions. You'll be near Malmstrom Air Force Base, Great Falls International Airport, and the River's Edge Trail along the Missouri River. After a day of travel, sightseeing, or fly fishing, unwind in the hot tub and take a dip in our heated pool. There's an exercise facility and a steam room. We have a full range of dining and entertainment options, including the Max Casino and Sports Bar, the Palomino Coffee Bar, and the Willow Creek Restaurant. Your accommodations will include satellite TV, in-room movies, a refrigerator, a microwave, a coffee and tea maker, and high-speed Wi-Fi. For an unforgettable trip to Great Falls, make your reservation at the Heritage Inn. Scrap metal for cash? Come visit us at Central Montana's leader in recycling, steel, etc. in Great Falls. Our center processes steel, stainless steel, aluminum, copper, brass, and lead. And we pay cash for scrap based on weight. We also accept batteries, electric motors, paper, cardboard, and more. And our roll-off containers are available for any scrap projects you have. We even buy and recycle junk cars. Trade your scrap for cash. Visit us at steeletc.com or call us at 761-4848. This season, score big with one of our many cars under $30,000. Talk about winning plays. Our financing team is here to help you with affordable options. We offer payments under $500, and that means more money for your fantasy football bets. With our certified pre-owned lineup, every car is thoroughly inspected, so you can drive with confidence. That means getting to the game without worry. Just over the hill from high prices. AMI is advanced metering infrastructure. We can talk to the meters, the meters can talk to us. So we're able to be very proactive in making sure that customers have reliable and stable power. We actually are stopping outages from happening by looking at the data coming back from these meters. 
That's the overall goal is to provide our customers a safe and reliable solution that's cost effective. And this is the start of that. No calories, no sweeteners, all smiles, bubbly sparkling water. It's fourth down, seconds on the clock. He hands it off, finds a hole in the middle. Oh, Brian, 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 Brian moves! moves. A touchdown for the win. I can't believe it! Pizza, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Montana, the last best place. And we believe the best state to do business. Like many of our clients, Farmers Union Insurance was born and raised in Montana. We started as a couple of farmers agreeing on their good word to insure each other. More than 100 years later, and our foundation is the same, our word is still our promise. Providing protection when it's needed most. With our local claims adjusters and Montana roots, we bring peace of mind that can only be offered by us, the largest mutual insurance company domiciled in Montana. We are committed to you and believe in the true value of buying local. So come see us. Our agents live where you live. We invite you to stay at one of the newest hotels in Great Falls. Warm, friendly atmosphere and a friendly staff that's ready to assist you in your every need. When you check in, this is the kind of room you will receive. Clean and comfortable, where you get wonderful breakfast and how about a nice glass of wine upon your check-in. Easy check-in with your professional team to assist you. Make your next reservation at the Gibson, downtown Great Falls. There's the buzzers. We say we're going to get ready to start the second half, so I'm going to get ready myself. Referee Tom Dwyer to hand it in. And Oliver's going to get it to Moran, and we're in the off and going here in the second half. And they got the ball there, end of the floor, working down there. Now the green's playing to the left side. I got Bear, she's down on the baseline, back to Moran, head of the key. Going to try to take it inside on Calendar. Calendar's got a hand on her. That's going to be a foul to start the second half for the Skylights. Baseline now. Ball will be taken out by the Bears. They're going to go over here on the left-hand side of the backboard. And she's got Baird in front of her, and that's where she's going to go. She steps inside. Calendar wasn't fooled. They're not going to get that shot off. Instead, Bear takes it on Toms. Shot's up. No good. Toms got the rebound. Gets the ball over in the hands of Trottier, and they're going to bring it into the front court. Up three. Trottier. Tay is going to take it on the dribble. He's going to hand it off. We've got another player out there now. Oh, Kellner. And, oh, a beautiful shot. That was going to, that's going to be Riley Kerr. My goodness, she's had a ball game. She's got another three-pointer. And now we're all tied at 39s. And hand the ball off. That's going to be Leckvold. Leckvold, head of the key. Now that's Oliver, deep in the corner, Moran. Moran's going to dribble it out of there. Head of the key, that's going to be Linz. Linz tries to take it inside. Tom's playing the good defense. She can't get around her. Her shot's up, but nobody's playing defense on Baird on the far side. Her shot's up. It's no good. And it's going to be a foul again against Northern, and once again, it's going to be Bear ball on the baseline. Referee's going to come together and talk, generally about the shot clock. Did the ball hit the rim or didn't it hit the rim is generally the question. And they say, yes, it did. So they're 18 seconds on the shot clock right now. Let's see what they put on. 
20. All this waits for two seconds. Two can be important seconds. But uh, that shot clock, everybody loves it, but there's times when it's a bit of a hassle. Baseline now, Bears looking to get in over the top, and they do, and that's going to be Oliver. Oliver's head of the key, working over on the right-hand side, gives it to Leckbold. Leckbold looking in the inside, Moran now, she drops it into Baird. Baird's got her back to the basket, turns on Toms, shots up, she uses the glass. Nice shot, and now the skylights are up by 42 to 38. Four-point lead. Front court, got a shot up the, over there. Kerr, that time it's no good. Coming out of there with it, it's going to be Leckbold. Leckbold's going to bring the front court, gets the ball down to Baird. Baird, she's going to always guard her baseline. She's got a layup. And the uh, skylights weren't getting back on defense. Callender, she's going to bring in the front court. Works it over here on this side to Trottier. Trottier is going to take the ball, center circle. Now she's going to work right-hand side, deep in the corner. That's going to be in the hands of Van Blair comes. She drops the ball off to Toms. Toms got a little 10-footer up and in. Nice play by the skylights to get themselves an easy look. Cuts that lead to 44-40. to And in the front court, that comes Moran. She's on the dribble over there on the right-hand side. Takes it back over here across the front of the key. And now they're on the back over there on the right-hand side to Oliver. Oliver gets it down to the lens. Lens takes it in. Up and in. She's got a basket. And now it's a two-point lead. Deep in the corner. They get it to Kerr. Nobody's guarding her. All the people on the floor, you think they'd be guarding. It would be Riley Kerr. She gets a shot up and in, and now the skylights are up four. You know, I looked up there a while ago, and I, I, I thought maybe they had the score up there wrong. Now, wait a minute. I thought the Bears were ahead, and all of the skylights were ahead, and now, now they got it right. Now my score works out. They're up by four. You get the ball down low. That's going to be Baird. A little left-hand shot in there. She goes out that glass and good. She's a lefty down low, and she gets a lot of points. And look at this. Nobody's guarding Kerr again. She's got a layup. My goodness. You know, if I was I think I was coach for ooh, Keller, I think, you got to find one girl. Find one girl, and that's Riley Kerr. She had 19 points at the half. She's up to 26 already. And now here they come. Morin with the ball. Down four. Working over on the right-hand side, deep in the corner. Leckbold. She'll put that three up, and she's got it on the way. And it's good. Gracie Leckbold. Scobie's finest. A lot of Montana girls on the floor when these two teams play. It's fun to watch. Now in the, come, inside was going to be Riley Kerr, and she's fouled. She's going to go to the free throw line. Coach Keller wants a travel call on that. He's not going to get it as Tom's is going to go take a break as coming is going to be Kress and coming back on the floor. And at the free throw line is going to be Riley Kerr. She's a 5'10 senior out of Columbia Falls, Montana. She got a sweet looking free throw too. That one's up and in. Skylights by two. She'd like to make it three. This one's on the way and good as well. 6.36 to play, third quarter. Skylights first to, first to 50. And now it's going to be Moran into the front court. Back over to Oliver at the head of the key. Hands that ball off to Leckbold. They are out on Leckbold. They're done watching her shoot if they can help it. And now they get the ball to Oliver. Nobody's guarding her. She shoots pretty good too. Up and in. Kai Oliver. Between her and Leckbold, they're just filling it up from the outside. We're not at a 50. Here comes Trottier into the front court. Leckbold's going to pick up there at the head of the key. They're going to set a pick to get rid of her. And now they get the ball out to Crash. She's got a three-pointer on the way. Maybe a little out of her range coming out of there with it. It's going to be Oliver. Oliver gets the ball to Leckbold, and she's in a race to get down the floor. Defense gets back to pick her up. Now to Oliver, head of key, left-hand side. Moran, she'll put up a three-point shot, and that one doesn't hit anything. Coming out of there with it is going to be Kerr. Gets the ball to Trottier, and lights are in the front court. All knotted at 50. And Vericlum, she's out there, deep in the corner. Callender. Callender dribbles it out of that corner, head of the key to Trottier. She wants to go over here on the right-hand side, so she goes ahead of the key. We're going to be Van Blair comes. She's got a three-pointer up. It's no good. Rebound comes off. Coming off in the hands of Linz. You're going to bring in the front court. That's going to be Gracie Leckbold. She's on the dribble, working her way over to the right-hand side. Picks up her dribble there. Goes to Oliver, head of the key. Oliver, left-hand side to Moran. They get the ball down to Linz. She's doing a little turnaround shot, and it goes in. And here comes Trottier, down two now, as the Skylights bring it in the front court. Man-to-man -man defense being played down on this end of the floor by Rocky Mountain. And this side, that's going to be Von Blericum. She's on the dribble, trying to work her way in there against Oliver. Oliver doing some reaching. She gets around her, shots up and in. 
Nice job by Rachel. She gets and ties things up at 52. 4.50 to play here in the third quarter. <clears throat> in the front court, it's Oliver. Right-hand side, Moran. Back to Oliver at the head of the key. And they're playing up against his own defense down there as they drop the ball into Baird. Baird, double team down there. She's going back over to Leckfold, back into Baird. Now she's going to try to work away in the paint. Shots up. Shots good. Morgan Baird, she gets on the left side of the basket. She's a left-hand shooter. <clears throat> the defense has a hard time stopping her. Now in the front court's Trottier down two. She got Leckfold out playing defense on her. Now it's in that right-hand side, Devon Blair come. She's going to take a couple dribbles in the paint, drops it down in there, gets it back out to Callender. Callender, she's got a three on the way of her own. That rattles out no good. It was all the way down and came all the way back out. And now it's Leckfold in a hurry on the far side of the court. Going to get picked up there by Trottier. Picks up a dribble, head of the key. That's Oliver. Oliver goes back over to, Van, to Leckfold. And he gave her one foot, and that's all it took. She's got a three-pointer on the way. 57 to 52 now, five-point lead by Rocky Mountain. And in the front court, it's going to be Trottier again. And Leckfold's going to guard her right-hand side to Callender. Callender, that's going to be Kerr. She's got a two-pointer up. That misses everything. That's unlikely for her. One of the best shooters here. She missed that one badly. And we have a whistle and a timeout on the floor. 3.38 to play here in the third quarter. Skylights have 52. Bears have 57. We're going to go ahead and take a timeout with them. And we are going to take a full timeout. We'll be back. Can I? Yeah. How many pages got left? 30. Break time. Good looking out. I got oh. you, I got you. Buy one, get one for a dollar is back. So double up or mix and match. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. It's the championships. We got them again here for the second year in a row. We're lucky to have them. This is good basketball, folks. Some of the best players you see in the state of Montana are out here on the floor right now. We don't see a lot of our players get up to that Division One playing Cat Grizz and, and that, but a lot of our high school girls and boys, they end up right here in the front here, and these are some talented players. Right now, it's a five-point lead by the Bears, and they got the ball. Moran, she brings the ball in the front court, and it looks like it'll be a little zone defense down there this time as he gets the ball down to Barrett, and she runs right over the defense. Good defense in there, taking that charge. It was going to be Callender. And the 327 market goes back over to the skylights. Substitute comes on. And coming on for the coming on for the uh, Bears is going to be Angie Cavanaugh. And Trottier is at the head of the key. And she drops to the free throw line. Out there with them is going to be Hanson. Hanson spins, looks. She got Hagem on her. Tires go baseline. Hagem won't let her. Head of the key to calendar. And the ball's headed for my equipment. Nice save. I think that. If I do say so myself. And taking the ball out right in front of me is going to be Jalen Callender. And she gets the ball inside. And that's going to be to Lawrence, who's back out there on the floor now. Over here on the right hand side to Hanson. Hanson. Head of the key to Trottier. Trottier. Trying to set a pick to try to free her up. She goes over here on the right hand side. Goes in the corner. They got a shot up. It goes in, but the referee says, no, you didn't shoot it in time. Sydney Hansen, she drained it from the corner. But she only got 30 seconds to shoot it. That shot went off at 31. Referees. Uh, somebody's challenging. What, do they got to go over the bench and take a look at it now? See whether it was out of her hand or not. It was. We've already checked over here. Jim Sargent says no good. Uh, they're not responding to that, Jim. You don't have the power you used to have in this tournament. So they'll go over there and the referees will get out the old uh, 
replay. Make sure that that ball was still in her hand at the buzzer. It was. It was right here in front of us. And they get a free timeout. It's basically what it comes down to. There's still 2.55 to play here in the third quarter. It's a five-point lead by the Bears, 57-52. to 52. Bears have two team fouls against them. Skylines have one. They have three timeouts left for the Bears, four timeouts left for the Skylights. And Jim Sargent's over here trying to haul her out instructions out there. Should have seen him this morning when he said hop, people hop. He was in charge of the setup. But now that the games are starting, <clears throat> he's just a spectator. So they're going to go there and look at that replay machine, try to figure things out. You know, we cut away and we go to an ad here. But the second we do that, they'll go, oh, yeah, it was a basket, and they'll move out of there. And then we'll be at ad when they come back to play. And that's never any good. Just to let you know, when this game is over with, we got one more girls game on the way. And it's going to be against two teams that have seen each other all year. And the Tech women, they're going to come out here. They've got Jeff Graham. He's their head coach. Of course, he won six championships out there in Belt. And so he's kind of a local guy. Got a local uh, following in here. I'm sure there's some people going to come watch basketball just because Jeff Graham's coaching. And if you never watch Jeff coach, he's a show. He's like Bill Drykosen between those two. <laughs> they're very animated on the sideline. And Jeff's going to take his team, and they're going to be playing the Western women. And uh, head-to-head during the year, uh, they played each other in uh, Tech 1-2. And no, Tech 1-1 one, one, and, and uh, Western 1-2. So uh, Tech, can, can they can win this game. They are the, the last place team in the conference. This game is going to be the uh, 6-3 with Tech being the 6 and Western being the 3 with that 8-7 record and a 3-12 and record. And uh, but like I say, in this conference, and I've said it before, I'll say it again, you know, you take Carroll on the girls' side, they are really, really good. Defending champions going for back-to-back. you got Jamie Pickens in the middle. Uh, she'll come out and play here tomorrow. Come on out and watch her. She's out of Helena. She went to the Grizz initially out of high school, and then, and then she decided that she would rather... Uh, come down and play at the frontier level than sit on the bench at the uh, uh, Division One level, although quite frankly, in my mind, she'd be playing at that level too, but she's a bit a uh, great pickup. And what are they going to do? Oh, they're going to keep it wiped off the board just like they said they were going to do, and the faithful from the skylights don't like it, but that's the way it is. And at any rate, uh, she's going to be player of the year again this year, and she's a lot of fun to watch. So here we go. We're back to play. And here come the front court up five is going to be the Bears, and that's Leckwold. Leckwold, she's out of Scobie. She's giving it over to Kai Oliver, deep in the corner. They're up and down over there. That's going to be in the hands of... It doesn't matter who it is. Coming out of the way, it's going to be Callender. Nice steal. Gets the ball to Trotty here. Shots up. That's good. Taya gets a layup, and now it's a three-point game. One possession. Here comes Kai Oliver in the front court. Trotty here is going to pick her up. Want to work over there in the head of the keys. Picks up a dribble there. Gets the ball to Oliver. Oliver looking to do something with it. How about going back to Leckwell? She's going to shoot a three because nobody's in her face. This time she misses. And Lawrence gets the rebound. She's going to come out of there with it. And she's into the front court, the head of the key. Wants to work on the left-hand side. She's got a lane to the basket. Good defense being played by Hagum. Hagum got a shot on that. Blocked it. Gets the hands of Oliver. Oliver to Leckwell. Leckwell, she's down there. Head of the key now. That's Hagum. Oliver down. Baird down now. Seeing some defense being played. First time they've stopped her on that side, and that was a good job. Coming in there with the block was going to be Kras, and they get the ball down on this end. Oh, shots up there. That one was no good. Coming out of there with it, it's going to be Leckbold. Leckbold with a minute 39 to play here in the third quarter is working on the right-hand side. Head of the key now. Oliver being guarded by Lawrence. Tries to go by her. Good defense by Lawrence. She has to go over the right-hand side. Still on the dribble. Now it's Leckbold. She's going to put up a three. And a, about a foot worth of space. The shot's no good. Hegum trying to work the way on the baseline. Knocks the ball out of bounds. It's going to go to the Skylights. And coming on for the Skylights is going to be number two, and that's going to be Mackenzie Long coming out there. And also joining her on the floor, Savannah Toms. And in the front court, here comes Trottier. She's working over the right-hand side. Has to pick up her dribble. Head of the key to Crass. Now inside to Toms, working her way inside. She got a shot up on the baseline, up and over the top. She gets a basket right on the top of Brianna Lenz. And now it's going to be Leckvold. Leckvold to Hagen at the head of the key. She wants to work on the right-hand side, picks up her dribble there, comes back over to Oliver, Oliver to Leckvold as they bring it around the paint. Now they get over here on the left-hand side. 
Taking the ball inside there is going to be Kavanaugh. She gets the ball back out to Hagem. She's got a three-pointer on the way. It's no good. Rebound comes out of there. Kratz has got it. She gets the ball to Trotty here, and now just down one. Here comes the Skylights into the front court. Head of the key, Leckbold playing defense. This side, Long. There's Tom. She's at the free throw line. Looks, has to get rid of the Lawrence. Lawrence to Trotty here. Back over to Tom's. Tom's working on the baseline against Hagem. Picks up her dribble. Has to go over to Lawrence. She's got a three-pointer from the wing. It's off the back of the rim. No good. Hagem's got the rebound. And good defense being played by Trotty here. She almost locks it away from Leckbold. Leckbold gets her hands on the ball with 11 seconds. They're going to set up their offense. Leckbold over on the right-hand side. And she takes it all the way inside. Good defense being played by the Skylights. She hit the ball out to Trottier. She's going to try to launch one at the buzzer. It's going to be good if it counts. And it doesn't. It hits the battle in the rim. We're done with the third quarter. At Great Falls Ace, everything we do is about serving our community. We're your helpful place for quick fixes, improvement projects, or advice you can just plain trust. Each one of our departments has true experts that want to help make your project a rewarding experience. Service, convenience, quality. That's what Ace is known for. You have a lot of choices when it comes to where you shop, and we want to say thank you for trusting in us. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Yeah. How many pages got left? 30. Break time. Good looking out. I got <laughs> you, I got you. Buy one, get one for a dollar is back. So double up or mix and match. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba.
That's going to that's gonna be a foul. We're going to send Linz to the free throw line. 5.18 to play. Seven point bear lead. Brenna. She's having a good game as well. Her free throw is up and good. She's got one more free throw coming. That one's on the way, and that one's good as well. She's got nine in the ball game, and that's what they're leading by. And here comes Callender. She drops the ball off Long. No, Long goes right by her. Now she goes ahead long ahead of the key, right-hand side skunk cap. Back over to Long. She takes the ball on the left-hand side, and she dribbles the ball. And she's going to say it's off of Rocky's foot. So they'll retain possession of the ball as Trottier comes back on the floor for the Skylights. And Long goes to the bench. And it's going to be Skylight ball right out there in front of their bench. Trottier now. She's ahead of the key with Leckbold on her right-hand side. That's going to be Kerr to Callender. Left-hand side, Trottier. Looking inside, takes the free throw lines. Now skunk cap. Go over to Trottier. She's going to cast up three from the head of the key. It's no good. But here's Kerr with a rebound. Her shot's up and good. 444 to play. She cuts the lead to 72 to 65. And Moran's going to bring the ball in the front court. Trottier's got her there. She takes Hegem, head of the key. Madeline turns, looks, goes over this side to Leckwold. Leckwold looks down to Oliver. She's down on that baseline. Calendar Gardner shakes the ball inside, looks to get it up. She offensive foul as she just pushed Calendar to the floor, try to free herself up. And at the 424 mark, the mark goes ball goes back over to the skylights. And with that, we have a whistle. Looks like we're gonna have a timeout out here. 424 to play. Bears have 72. Skylights have 65. Let's go ahead and take a break. It looks like it'll be a full timeout. Montana. Hey, QDI, 1450. We're proud to say it's where we live and where we work. We're so much more than pretty scenery. We are all hardworking, resilient, and resourceful. The vibe is different here. Stockman Bank, Montana's brand of banking. Four twenty-four to play. One of these teams is going to go home. Right now, the advantage is to the Bears from Rocky Mountain College. They've got a seven-point lead over the Skylights. Skylights, however, I believe have the ball when we come live. And they will, taking it out down the far end. we got Trottier and Callender. No defense down there. They're all waiting down here around the key for the Skylights to get the ball down here. And it's going to be Callender. Head of the key, working on the right-hand side. Trottier, Trottier, dribbles it off her foot. Fortunate to save it before it goes out of bounds. Gets the ball over the far side. Skunk cap, skunk cap. Beautiful pass on the baseline. Trying to get the ball to Kerr. Kerr can't handle it. But Trottier can. She's got to lay up and in. And now Moran. She's going to bring the ball in the front court over here on the left-hand side. Trottier is going to pick her up. They're going to play a little man-to-man -man down there now. they got to get their hands on the basketball. Under four minutes to play. Leckwold. Gets the ball. That's Lindsay. She got a shot on the baseline. It's up and it's good. Right over the top of Crass. And now here comes Callender. They're still down seven points as they begin the front court. Trottier, this side, Callender. Callender takes it back out of the head of the key. Moran's on her. There's Skunk Cap. Looking inside, there's that same play. This time Crass has got a shot up. It's no good. Rebound comes off. Heckham's got it. And she gets the ball to Gracie Leckbold. She's going to slowly take it into the front court. 3.24 to play. And they're going to drive right over to her coach because they want a timeout. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. So 3.22 to play. Let's go and take 30 seconds with them. Bears 74, Skylight 67, back in 30. KQDI, 14.50 a.m.
ready to unleash your awesome? Then you need 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS. You'll have the powerful internet you need to stream, game, learn, and work today, and be prepared to take on anything new you can dream up tomorrow. Imagine internet you'll never outgrow. Get 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS and embrace infinite possibility. Paul's Cleaner and Laundry Center is your must stop to get those items clean and looking new again. If you're tired of doing laundry, then don't. Falls Cleaner and Laundry Service can take care of it. If you'd like to do your own wash, well, you can at Falls Cleaner and Laundry Center. And don't forget, they have free Wi-Fi so you can check out your Facebook post while you wait. Falls Cleaner and Laundry is a complete dry cleaning bundle drop-off and coin-operated machine facility. They are helping the Argo stay fresh and clean all season long. It's Falls Cleaner and Laundry Center, open daily, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. with attendance on duty. We'll go on to the semifinals tomorrow. The loser, their day is done as well. That's one thing that everybody's been watching these high school basketball tournaments for its double elimination. Not so at this level. This level, you lose, you're done. Every game's a loser out. That makes a lot of intense basketball out there. And with 3.22, the Bears have the ball. They're in the front court already. That's Moran on the dribble, working against Trottier. Working over here, left-hand side. If they can do that, they do. They get the ball. That's going to be Oliver. Oliver gets inside. There's Baird again. And going to get fouled by Kraft as she got on the inside of her. And Savannah had no choice but to foul or give up a layup. She chose foul. That's her fourth. She's in trouble now as is Bear at the free throw line. And she misses her first free throw. And we have substitute Hegem's waiting to come on for Bear. Looks like they're going to do a little offense-defense subbing over there for Coach Keller. Second one's no good, so so much for that strategy. Seven goes out of bounds off Lindsay. And now we'll get Hegem. She's going to go back to the bench because... No, they're going to say that's off of Northern. I'm looking through a lot of bodies there. I can tell you, though, that the Moran's going to take it out. But first, substitute is Toms comes on. And Kraft's going to take her four fouls to the bench. Good move by Coach Moat. And on the baseline, it's going to be Ileana Moran trying to get the ball inside. If it's there, and it is. But she gets the ball to Lindsay. Lindsay <laughs> going to get fouled. That's going to go against Kerr. Going to send Lindsay to the free throw line. And for Kerr. Well, that's why Kerr looks so stunned it wasn't on her after all. It was Von Blaircom that picked up her first foul. Lindsay will go to that free throw line, though. She doesn't care who fouled her. She's going to make a free throw. And now it's an eight-point lead. I think it's the lead, biggest lead of the ballgame for the Bears. She's got one more free throw on the way, and that one is good as well. Now we have a whistle. We're going to bring a sub in, and Skunk Cap's going to come back on. And Von Blair come goes to the bench for Coach Mouat as they find themselves down nine points with 3.08 to play. And they're going to have to come down and do some good shooting, get some shots off quick. They can't burn a whole lot of clock because you know the Bears are going to do it when they get their hands on the ball. Kellner, she's at the head of the key. There's Skunk Cap going over to the right-hand side. Tries the ball, skip pass. The Trottier, now they get it inside the key. Toms turns, looks. You got Hegem on her, shots up. It's no good. Lindsay's got the rebound. She gets the ball to Leckbold, and Gracie's going to bring it in the front court. Skunk caps on her, working over here on the left hand side. Now she's at the head of the key. The referee got a whistle. He's going to say Skunk Cap had her hands on her. So at the 240 mark, we're going to see. We're going to see them go back to the free throw line. And that's going to be Gracie Leckbold going to be shooting. 5'5 five five junior out of Scobie, Montana. Excellent ball player. Great three-point shooter. She's not half bad from the free throw line. That one didn't even ripple the net when it went through. She's got another one on the way. Identical to the first. And now it's an 11-point lead at 2.40 to go. And now the clock is not the friend of the northern skylights. There's Callender. The Trotty here. They're going to have to get some shots off here pretty quick. They don't have a lot of time to work that ball around. Right here, she's going to loft a three finally, and that's good. Beautiful shot. Timeout, Mouat. And with 2.25 to play, 78 Bears, 70 for the Skylights. 
We're going to take a break. We'll talk about some things. We'll be gone for 30 seconds. KQDI, 1450 AM. Great Falls has so much to offer. And Great Falls' newest hotel, the Sleep In and Suites Mainstay Suites, is here no matter what your reason for travel. Come stay with us and enjoy well-appointed guest rooms, a hot breakfast daily, pool and hot tub with outdoor patio and barbecue area, fitness center, and so much more. Montana owned and operated, we're proud corporate partners of the University of Providence Argos. Well, let's see what the Skylights can do this time. They got a turnover and a layup off the press the last time. This time they got Leckvold throwing the ball in. No, they had Oliver thrown in to Leckvold. They got Lindsay, Lindsay Frankort Moran. She got a one on two. She's going to pull up on there. That's a smart thing to do. And they're going to have to follow her here pretty quick. Trottier is playing good defense on her. There's the touch. And with 2.03 left, they were going to send Ileana Moran to the free throw line. And that's going to be the first foul. Second foul called on Trottier and going to the free throw line. Ileana Moran. Moran. He's not a big scorer for him. She hasn't scored in the ball game. Yes, she has. She's got seven points now. She's got one more free throw coming as they have a seven point lead. If you make your free throws, it's awful tough to catch you. That one's as good as well. Now we have a whistle as we're going to bring Lawrence back on the floor. And Callender's going to go to the bench for the lights. And bringing the ball to the front court is going to be Trottier. Rolls under two minutes to play. Running out of time, the lights are. Skylights on the dribble. Defense being played out there by Moran right hand side. That's Lawrence into Toms. Toms, get skip pass, far side, skunk gap. She's got a three on the way. It's no good. And we're going to have a foul on the rebound. And they're going to call that foul on the, on the Bears. That's going to just be their fourth team foul, so it's not a shooting situation yet. Next one it will be. They're up eight. And the Skylights have the ball. They go to Kerr. She's at the head of the key. Gets it into Tom's. Tom's got a layup. It's up and in. What? He's running out of timeouts. He can't stop that clock. Coming out, there's going to be Oliver. Oliver, they're going to try to double team her. Back over to Hegum. Hegum in the middle of the floor. Lindsay, this side there in the front court. And it's going to be Oliver. They're going to have to come out and foul her. And they miss the foul. They get the ball over to Hegum. Hegum's going to get fouled. Oliver says, wait a minute. I was fouled. I'm laying here on the ground. They help her up. They are going to go to the free throw line, but it's going to be Madeline Hegum. They're up six. 128 to play. At the line, Maddie. Hegum. Once again, hasn't been a big score today. She's only got, well, in fact, she hasn't scored yet. Good one to put at the free throw line. Wrong. Free throws up and good. Madeline, she always was a good free throw shooter. Watched her play a lot of games for Roy Winifred. A few state championships under her belt. That one's on the way, and that one is no good. Well, they get the only rebound. Lindsay's got it. And they're going to have a, they're going to jump ball out of it. They are. Possession arrow goes to Northern. As Long comes on the floor. And who's he going to send to the bench? How about Toms? So now they're down seven, and they got a minute 24. You're going to have to do some quick shooting. And it's Lawrence. Lawrence in the front court, working on the left-hand side. She's on the dribble. 
Comes over this side, Trottier, Trottier, that's going to be Kerr. Kerr takes it down the left-hand side, stops, throws the ball inside, low pass to Skunk Cap. Coming out of the way, that's going to be, going to be, I can't pick up a number. She's wearing a green shirt, so it's going to go over to Rocky. And with that, referee's holding up play as Van Balkum comes back on. Toms comes back on. And Callender comes back on. And taking the ball in the baseball, and it's going to be Oliver. Minute 12 to do something with it. She has to get the ball into Moran. They're going to try to trap her. That's not going to work. She's too quick. She's working her way up the right sideline. She got her all the way to the baseline. There's Bear. Layup. Nice job that time by Moran. And then she comes out and fouls. That wasn't a good idea. And that's about the only way that Northern can get back in this ball game is if you foul them. That's the last thing you want to be doing. Multiple substitutions is Long and Skunkep and Lawrence come back on the floor as Coach Moat does his offense-defense substitutions. At the free throw lines, Trottier, her shot's good. And now he's going to run all of his gals back over there to the bench. And they'll come on after this free throw. you got Toms and Callender and Van Belt. Blaricum coming back on. And the same three are going to the bench. And now the free throw is good, so now it's 83-76. to 76. Still that seven-point lead. Minute two to play. Full court pressure by the Skylights. You get the ball in to Moran. She's going to try to split the seam. That's a bad idea. Coming out of the way, it's going to be Callender. She's going to have to launch a three. And that one rolls out no good. That would have been a big thing if it would have went. Instead, they're going to have to foul. It's going to be on Trottier. And we're going to send Oliver to the free throw line down on the other end of the floor. She got a good look. Callender did. It just did not drop. And the season's starting to fade away for the Skylights. As they're bringing those three back on, here comes Skunk Cap, Long, and Lawrence. And there goes Toms and Callender. And seems to me like one more person should have went to the bench over there, but they do only have five out there, so we'll just move on. At the free throw line, Kai Oliver. Free throws up, free throws good. She's a shooter, too. Kai's got 16 points in the ballgame. She's had a whale of a ballgame for... Coach Keller, second free throw. That's off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound comes up. Skunk Cap's got it, and she's going to race in the front court. She's over here on the right-hand side. Goes to Trottier. Trottier to Kerr. Kerr goes in the paint. She got a shot up in there. Goes off the backboard, no good. Rebound comes off. Lindsay's got it. She gets over to Moran. Moran's on the sideline. She's on the dribble. She's going to work away in the front court. No, Skunk Cap's going to foul her. With 35.8 seconds left, we're going to send... Ileana Moran, right back to that free throw line. Skunk Cap, that's going to be her second foul. And Ileana's right back there. She's got her free throw up, and it's good. She's two for three for three from that free throw line now. Wrong person to foul, that kind of stat. Second free throw's on the way, and that one's good as well. And now, Coach Keller is going to empty out his bench. He's got five new numbers coming out on the floor. I'll have to pick them up quick. I've got 35 seconds to learn who they are. I see Madison Blaney's back out there. I see Angie Cavanaugh's back out there. And here comes Trottier. She goes to the paint. They're going to put up a shot. No, they're going to foul her. And Gabriella Bittner is going to get that foul. And it is going to send Trottier to the free throw line. As Van Blarenkong comes on, Callender comes on, Toms comes on, Long to the bench. Lawrence to the bench, Skunk Cap to the bench. Free throw is coming for Trottier. Tell you, a shot is up and it's good. And now it's a 10-point game. Nine-point game, excuse me. 86-77. And one more free throw coming for Northern, and it's good as well. And now we have a timeout by Wes Keller. He's got a bunch of new players out there. He wants to talk about some things. There's 31.8 seconds left. We're going to take probably the last, hopefully the last time out of the game. And we're going to be on in just for 30 seconds. KQDI, 1450 AM. We invite you to stay at one of the newest hotels in Great Falls. Warm, friendly atmosphere and a friendly staff that's ready to assist you in your every need. When you check in, this is the kind of room you will receive clean and comfortable where you get wonderful breakfast and how about a nice glass of wine upon your check-in 
easy check-in with your professional team to assist you. Make your next reservation at the Gibson, downtown Great Falls. A Rocky Mountain Bear fan, you got yourselves an eight-point lead with 31.8 seconds to go in the ball game, and you have the ball. And they're going to throw it in. They're going to throw it into the backcourt. And that's going to go to Bittner. Bittner down the right-hand side. Out there is going to be Black. Black now. You can take it out in the corner, throw it inside, and back out to Black. Black over to Bittner. Bittner, cross-court pass on this side of the floor. She won't turn side side, but you get a number. That's going to be Madison Hill who's out there. And they get the ball inside, 10 seconds on the clock. And they, they are the subs, so they can go ahead and work a shot if they want. Shot's up, it's no good, but they get their own rebound. Now they're going to cast a three. That's Kavanaugh. That one's no good. And with 1.2 seconds left to go in the ball game, the horn goes off. Keller's telling all his players, just get back. This game is over. You know, but Watt says, no, it's not. I'm going to call a timeout. And he does. So with 1.2 seconds left in the ball game, he must have an eight-point play up his sleeve. But we're going to take a timeout. We're not going to take it with him. We've been taking too many timeouts as it is. Just want to take this time to tell everybody to stick around. There's going to be another girls' basketball, women's basketball game after this one. And it's going to be between Western. The Bulldogs up from Dillon. They're going to play Tech. <clears throat> Western Tech, that's a rivalry game. And they're going to be playing it out right here on this floor. Jeff Graham, about coach, and he's got Tech. And the coach for Western is Britt Cooper. I think first year? I think so. Minute, two seconds left to go. And it is Cooper's first year. And it's going to be Lawrence throwing it in from the sideline over the front of the bench. And Coach Mott, he's talking to the gals over there, and I'm not sure what he's doing. Oh, he's got one gal that he wants to get onto the, onto the floor. It's going to be number 22, Sydney Hansen, and he's going to run her out there on the floor. And we're going to take another time out here, and I'll just tell you that this ball game is over. Then that second ball game, that's going to be the fourth one of the day. We'll have four games in. There's going to be four here tomorrow. Tomorrow is the semifinals. There are going to be some good, excellent basketball games. We've had waiting in the wings the first and second place teams on both the boys and the girls' side. On the boys' side, Tech and Carroll. Tech, of course, they're going for a three-peat. And if they do, that's going to be the first time since like 1985, almost 40 years since anybody's done a three-peat. And it was Tech that did it back then. But uh, that'll be interesting to see if they can do it. And on the girls' side, we're going to have a uh, lady side. It's going to be uh, Carroll and the Argos that have been waiting in the wings for the winner of these games today. So with 1.2 seconds left to go in the ball game. Looks like we'll finally you know, get this one over with unless somebody steals it, gets a foul and with no time on the clock. Let's hope that doesn't happen. And they do get the ball in. They're going to get a shot up. And it's off the glass and good. He put, he put Angie Kavanaugh, on. Excuse me, not Angie. He put Sydney Hansen in for that last play. And she drains a three. She didn't call glass. She didn't have to, but it goes in. So nice substitute by Coach Mott. He got a three-point shot. And the Bears are.